Yo, it's your boy Jabba Bowman 8 here. Today, what I've got for you is change the setting. Of course, um, I'm currently at my I'm currently at my auntie's house at the moment, just for a visit. I thought, hey, why not do a little video for you guys? And uh, today, it seems right because uh, the day was the 2014 Austri Austrian Grand Prix. And I thought, let's do a review for that. So, here we go guys, 2014 Austrian Grand Prix. Oh, by the way guys, sorry for yesterday, I know, I know a lot of you guys were a little bit surprised that, you know, that I didn't really do the F1 online club, I know it was a big surprise. I think I told a couple of people that I was going to do it next week for the Austrian GP weekend, but sadly I didn't, but whatever, that's, you know, I just really didn't feel, I just kind of wanted a break to be honest, and it felt right to do it, so... Sorry about that, guys. But next, tomorrow, don't worry. Next, but next week, sorry, next week's all going to change because that I'm going to do a British Grand Prix special. It's going to be a 50% race, which means it's going to be 26 laps. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy that. But for that further ado, let's do this video. So the 2014 Australian Grand Prix. Start off with qualifying because I'm not going to go practice. Practicing nothing much really happened to, in practice, to be honest. You know, so. Let's just move on to qualifying. So qualifying was particularly good. It was a good, good session, I would say. Q1 started quite reasonably well, you would say. A lot of people getting disallowed. A lot of times were getting disallowed by various drivers running wide at turn 8. And uh, basically the rule was, on that weekend, if all four wheels are obviously out of the white line coming out of turn 8, your lap time will get disallowed. I think I'm not quite sure if it's in all uh, corners, but I think I think most of them were in turn eight. So I think it was just for turn eight, to be honest. I don't know. Who knows? So yeah. Um, so that happened, and uh, that really messed up a couple of people who were trying to get out the who were trying to get out of the bottom six. In particular, Adrian Sutil. Adrian Sutil. Ran wide, his time got disallowed, and uh, as a result, he was out of Q1. Massive shame for Adrian Sutil, a guy that I really thought he could be a shoe in for the top 10, but obviously, the, uh, the Sauber really not quick enough to challenge the high running uh, the midfielders, for instance, Williams or Force India or whatnot. So that's that's real big shame. Same for uh, Gutierrez, he was out as well, so big shame for them, for them as well. And yeah, so into Q2, it was, just, it was more of the same to be honest. Everyone get everyone usually getting their time disallowed and whatnot. And uh, the big shock, big big shock happened. Uh, big big shock happened, and that was Sebastian Vettel. He was too slow, and as a result, did not make it into Q3. Big shock, I would say. Jensen as well. Big shock as well for Jensen and Vettel at the same at the same uh, point as well. So. Yeah, it's just really crazy, really, really crazy. I mean, Vettel really can't, you know, handle, especially, look, I mean, look, I mean, this is Vettel, this is sort of the team's home circuit. You would expect that a Red Bull to really up their game would be right up there with the Mercedes, but it's just not going out for us. It's just not going for them, you know. It's very, very weird, very, very strange, you would say. But whatever, that's racing at the end of the day. Same for Martin, really, really uh, disappointing from uh, Jensen, uh, from uh, Kevin Magnussen's performance, because I thought Jensen would be able to easily get into the top end of Q3 and maybe even challenge for fifth place, but it wasn't the case. So, yeah, really, really um, disappointing by both men. And then into Q3, that's when the spice really kicked up, and that was the, and that was the two Mercedes going for it, hammer and tongs, to see who was the fastest. But one of them couldn't really maximise it as Hamilton ran wide and uh, got his time disallowed. His time was disallowed after, I think he was like 4 for 1 time. And then he, and his lap time got disallowed. And then at the end of the session, he spun whilst he was on his flying lap. While well, he was going for pole position, spun. I don't know, it was like, I think it was some sort of, I don't know, some sort of uh, braking problem or whatnot. But yeah, the car, the rear of the car locks up. And he spun uh, around. Just really disappointing. I believed, you know, it was something to do with the brake by wire system. But, it, you know, again, it, it could be anything to be honest. So, yeah, unfortunate for Hamilton there. 
And uh, that left the door wide open for Rosberg to shoot and score. But it wasn't the case. It was the Williams that made it count on the day and got their first 1-2 pole position probably since Germany since Germany in 2003 with Juan Pablo Montoya and um, Ralph Schumacher. Great, great scenes in the Williams camp. I mean, it, an emotional pole, I would say, to be honest, because, you know, Williams last year had a torrid, torrid, torrid season. I mean, just the worst. Like... Forget 2011, 2013 is in a, a new age of horribleness. I mean, just Jesus Christ. They were just asking to be out of Formula 1. They were just asking for it. But they stayed in there, and as a result, they have got their pole position. What a pole for them. What a heart. It really shows. <laughs> Ignore that. I'm so sorry. I was expecting that to be. Um, yeah, so good pole position by uh, the Williams there. So into the race, into the race, it was a good start from the two uh, Williams, but it was a beautiful start from Rosberg, getting himself into getting himself up into second place, but not for long as uh, Bottas got round the inside into turn two to keep uh, his second place. But Hamilton, probably the start of the century to be honest, as he got made his way from fifth to fourth, no fifth, no ninth to fifth, and I think fourth, maybe fifth or fourth, in one lap, it was just really, really good start of the start of the lap for Hamilton there, especially on his start there. I really thought, I really, I was doubting that, I was doubting him for even a top two or even a victory here, to be honest. Because you know, once the once the Mercedes of Rosberg, uh, once the Mercedes of Rosberg clears the two Williamses. Then he's going to be offline, and uh, Hamilton won't, won't be able to do anything about it. And by the time he'd pass all of the drivers ahead of him, then it'd be too late. He, Rosberg had already won the race, so I was kind of doubting him because of that. But he, he really, he really, it was just, it's, it's incredible. I can't believe he did that, but he did it, and it was absolutely amazing from Hamilton there. And then later on the race, um, we saw that the Williamses weren't cars that were just going to easily let the Mercedes go. They really gave the Mercedes a good race, and that's that's fantastic, you know. I mean, to see Williams right up there, to see Williams challenging the top guys that have been leading this championship for um, since the start of the season, that's pretty insane, you know. That's pretty awesome, and I really, really hope that Williams do get back into their game and really start getting decent results uh, in these uh, next couple of races this season. But yeah, back to the action, back to the action. So, yeah, um, Williams really um, putting on a lot of a good race for uh, the Mercedes. And then as a result, that uh, made Rosberg pit early to try and undercut uh, the two Williamses. And uh, what a start by uh, Rosberg there, he, uh, trying to uh, get ahead of Williams. the Williams is there. Master, uh, Hamilton got a really sluggish stop. He got like a 4.5, I'm not quite sure. I think it was somewhere, some, somewhere along the lines for that. Uh, which dropped him. I think he dropped him himself. No, no, no. And then after that, after that, uh, Massa had a really, I think it was the worst out of the four guys. And as a result, he dropped down the fourth. Unfortunate for him there. And Boss has an amazing stuff. I thought, I thought, you know, I thought Bottas was never going to be ahead of the two Mercedes. I thought, that's it, Mercedes are going to be ahead. You know, goodbye Williams' is try, uh, try to uh, get second or first. No, they kept second, That was fan and it was a fantastic stop. I think it's probably the stop, the fastest pit stop ever. And if that's the case, that's fantastic. They've got to really put, they've got to be, uh, put a big round of applause, big round of applause to them for doing that. That's fantastic. <laughs> So yeah, that happened, and as a result, that, that put him up to the second place. Especially uh, as the Williamses were really sort of um, were sort of uh, keep run, uh, keeping on running. They were keeping on trucking along, you know. So I, th you know, I thought they were running their own track. I, I don't know why the Mr. Williamses kept stayed out. To be honest, you know, even when the Mercedes of Rosberg really coming at coming at them really fast uh, at a fast rate. You know, I was not. It's just, it's just really weird to to see. You know, the Williams. It's really weird to see 
that Williams didn't pit, you know. Had they, should have they pitted, whatnot, I don't know, but, you know, it's just, it's just really, I think it was just an error, I think, for them, to be honest. So, yeah, that happened. Also, another thing that, uh, another thing on the first half as well, Vettel had a little problem. He, he said he lost drive, he lost dri some sort of drive, um, but then he got it back going again, but at the time, uh, he was uh, stone dead last and a lap down. Which was a real shame for him there. And then after that, he uh, got into a collision with uh, Gutierrez. By the way, Gutierrez had a little pit stop problem. Uh, he got, I think he, um, I think the team let him out too late while the team was uh, getting his world nut, wheel nuts on. He got uh, penalised for uh, an unsafe release, and that he got penalised with a 10 second penalty for unsafe release. And uh, yeah, and then yeah, after that, Vettel. Tangling with um, Gutierrez. I'm surprised uh, that wasn't a penalty to be honest, you know, because you could see, you know, I mean, Vettel should have, Vettel should have been clever and just gone around the outside and waited for him to take the inside going into turn seven, I believe. Yeah, turn, I don't know, turn six. Yeah, turn six. But he didn't. He tried to do it out the inside, and um, yeah, I knew, I knew that was going to be contact, you know, from. And, you know, he wasn't alongside at the end of the day, so, yeah, I think, honestly, I think it was Vettel's fault, to be honest. Didn't really think to uh, go around the outside, to be honest, but whatever, that's racing to be at the end of the day. So, yeah, that happened, um, and as a result, and then later on, um, um, Vettel had a problem. He, uh, Vettel just retired, um, because the team thought that there was no point in racing, to be honest, so they retired him. Unfortunate for Vettel there, their retirement in the season, not good. For the uh, former, for the uh, reigning world champion. So yeah, um, and then uh, in the last couple of laps, we got we saw a beautiful what a race we got. What a beautiful race we got. Hamilton versus Rosberg. Uh, Hamilton, uh, Rosberg versus Hamilton going at it, hammer and tong going at it with pure out race speed, and they were giving it absolutely. Uh, Hamilton was giving it absolutely everything to close down Rosberg. But in the end, it wasn't enough. I think uh, it was down to like six tenths. I think honestly, Hamilton had he had one more lap, I think he would have probably passed Rosberg. But it's racing at the end of the day, and as a result, the winner of the Austrian Grand Prix was Nico Rosberg. A fantastic drive from third on the grid. Um, a beautiful, beautiful race. Controlled the lead from Hamilton, and uh, as a result, uh, picked up his. Fourth, no, third win of the season. Sorry, third win of the season. Beautiful, beautiful win for him there. And as a result, increases him, his lead in the championship to Hamilton. So, yeah, folks, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys... In, uh, sorry, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry this video is a bit long. Um, it might be 20 minutes, it might be 10, I don't know. But, yeah, folks, thank you very much. Very, very much for watching. It's your boy, Jabba Boy Renate. I'm out. Peace.